Charles III is king of the United Kingdom and the 14 other Commonwealth realms. He was born on November 14, 1948, and his full name is Charles Philip Arthur George. He was the heir apparent who had been in power the longest. When his mother, Elizabeth II, died on September 8, 2022, he became the oldest person to take over the British throne at the age of 73. In this video, we'll talk about things about King Charles III that you might not know. So guys, welcome to Top Class Luxury. Don't forget to hit the like button, and if you haven't already, press the subscribe button and the bell icon to make sure you see all of our new videos. Let's have a look at King Charles' unknown facts. On November 14, 1948, King Charles III was born at Buckingham Palace. He might be the last English king or queen who wasn't born in a hospital. Prince William and Prince Harry were both born at St. Mary's Hospital in Paddington, London, in the Lindo Wing. Prince George, who is now second in line to the throne, was also born at St. Mary's Hospital. Charles was only three years old when he became the clear heir to the throne. After her father, King George VI, died on February 6, 1952, Elizabeth became queen. At the time, she was only 25 years old. The throne then went to Charles, who was four years old at the time. After his mother died on September 8, 2022, Charles took over as king. He was the heir apparent who served for the longest time in British history. He did this for 70 years. Charles is also the oldest person to take the British throne. Charles didn't have an easy childhood, even though he was a prince. He was picked on at school because of how he looked. Charles was the first prince who was going to be king to go to school away from the palace. The young prince went to school in London at Hill House School, where he met other students. Later, he went to Ching School, a boarding school in Hampshire that his father, Prince Philip, also went to. Vanity Fair says that while Charles was away at school, he missed his family and wrote letters home every week. He was also said to have been teased at school by other kids because of his big ears and weight. Charles was sensitive and not very good at sports. He liked to be alone and loved to paint and draw. Charles is now thought to be one of the most successful artists still alive in the UK. The former Prince of Wales loves art, just like his great-great-great-grandmother, Queen Victoria. He likes to paint with watercolors, and his favorite things to paint are mountains and lakes. Even though he calls himself an enthusiastic amateur, he is an honorary member of the Royal Academy and the Royal Watercolor Society, and his paintings have sold for more than $2 million. Plums, hard-boiled eggs, and lamb with wild mushroom risotto are some of Charles's favorite foods. A former royal chef told Delish that the royal usually has plums from his own garden and granola for breakfast. He also said that lamb with mushroom risotto is one of Charles's favorite meals. Charles only met Princess Diana 13 times before they were married in 1989. Town and Country says that Charles and Diana had many of their first conversations over the phone. After only 13 dates, then Prince Charles and Lady Diana Spencer announced that they were getting married. This was less than a year after they started dating. Charles and Diana got married on July 29, 1981, in a showy ceremony that was broadcast on TV. People called it the wedding of the century at the time. About 750 million people in 74 different countries watched the couple get married, and 600,000 people lined the streets of London to see it. Charles broke a royal rule by being there when his two children were born. Princess Diana was the first member of the royal family to give birth in a hospital. Before her, royals always gave birth at the palace. Charles was also there when both of his sons were born, which was against royal tradition. People say that Diana and Charles didn't agree on what to name their first son. In Andrew Morton's book Diana, Her True Story, Diana says that Charles wanted William to be named Arthur at first. Charles met his future wife Camilla at a polo game at Windsor Castle in 1970. Even though Camilla and Charles's relationship was getting stronger, things ended when he joined the Royal Navy in 1972. Then he started dating Princess Diana, whom he would marry in July 1981. Charles is both the godfather and stepfather of Tom Parker Bowles, the first child of Camilla and her ex-husband Andrew Parker Bowles. Camilla got engaged to Andrew Parker Bowles, an army cavalry officer, while Charles was serving in the Royal Navy. Camilla and Charles stayed in touch over the years, which may have caused both of their marriages to end. Charles and Camilla got married on April 5, 2002, after dating for years. King Charles hasn't been able to stay out of trouble. In November 1992, his relationship with Camilla Parker Bowles was all over the news. 
A private transcript of a 1989 phone call between Charles and Camilla was made public in November 1992, as Insider had said before. The call was scandalous and sexual, and Charles reportedly joked that he wanted to turn into Parker Bowles' knickers or her tampon. He said, I'll just live in your pants or something. That would be a lot simpler. After 15 years of marriage, Charles and Diana filed for a divorce in August 1996. After Princess Diana died, Prince Charles went to Paris to get her body and bring it back to England. Princess Diana and Dodie Fayed were killed in a car crash in Paris, France, early on August 31, 1997. The driver, Henri Paul, also died in the crash. According to the Telegraph, Fayed and Paul both died when the plane hit the ground. The Princess of Wales, who was only 36 at the time, died a few hours later in a French hospital from injuries she got in the crash. King Charles, who was then Prince Charles, went to Paris right away to get the body of his ex-wife and bring it back to the UK. Charles also stopped his plans to make Camilla's relationship with him official. Charles's secret codename in the United States Secret Service is Unicorn. Before she died, Queen Elizabeth's secret codenames were Kitty Hawk or Redfern. Charles is very concerned about the environment and just started a new job as a park ranger at Windsor Great Park. Charles has always been open about how much he loves gardening and being outside. In an interview in 1986, the then prince said, I just come and talk to the plants. It's important to talk to them, I find, because they respond. Charles has also recently praised his youngest son, Prince Harry, for his work to raise awareness about climate change and for his charity, Archwell, to be net zero. Charles is now the ranger of Windsor Great Park, one of England's oldest landed estates. This is a job that his father, Prince Philip, used to do. He created a town called Poundbury. Among the many things King Charles is interested in, urban planning and development is one. In 1993, he started building a village called Poundbury in the southwest of England. It was based on the ideas of new urbanism, which emphasizes walking and biking as green ways to get around. The building is expected to be done in 2025. About 4,600 people live in Poundbury right now. His art is sold to raise money for charity. King Charles is a good painter, and since 1997, many of his works have been sold. All of the money from the sale of his art went to the Prince of Wales Foundation, which offers a wide range of innovative and inspiring education and training programs for people of all ages and backgrounds. At an auction, a print of his painting of Balmoral Castle sold for almost 5,740 pounds, which was almost 10 times what was expected. King Charles III is used to being in front of a crowd. He has been on the British TV show Coronation Street, been a member of the Magic Circle, and given the BBC weather forecast. Prince William, his son, is next in line to be king. The king has two sons, Princes William and Harry, and five grandsons and granddaughters. Prince William is next in line to become king. In 2022, he was named Prince of Wales. So guys, thank you for watching this video and don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button to get all the latest updates.